All right, it's that time. It's uh, going to be 83 degrees outside today, and uh, right now it's uh, 12 o'clock, so maybe I can get out there before it gets too hot. And uh, we're going to paint this up. We've got our uh, blue hammer right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to degrease it here with our uh, de, uh, Diluyente de Laca. And then uh, we'll wipe it down and tape it up and uh, bring it outside. All right, so I'll, I'll throw you guys up on a tripod, all right? Okay. All right. Yeah, I heard a couple of you guys asking why we're working on this uh, little table today. It's because, or a little rolling bench, I should say, rolling table. Uh, that's because the bench is a mess over there. We had a engine night last night, and we worked on a generator, and got a lot of tools out and everything, and that's what we do. We just throw them on a table after night, and I clean up. But uh, before I cleaned that up, I didn't, want, I didn't want to waste my time there, since I got a short period to to get this done here. Oh, I want to throw a few coats on this and then uh, then I can clean that while it's uh, drying. Alright, let's get started. Alright, this thing should be already be pretty clean because I degreased it before I uh, sanded it down and did the body work on it. But, uh, you know, when everybody touches it and picks it up and everything, you get the grease off your hands and stuff, so I'm just going to... Give it a real quick uh, going over here. I guess say it'll be okay. This this ladder thing shouldn't affect the the epoxy or the body work or, or the body putty. And this way, it'll ensure that the tape sticks to the, the surfaces that I want to cover. Nice and warm out here, but I found myself a place in the shade. You know, I don't want direct sunlight because the, the paint will just uh, dry right up. I, <clears throat> I got turned upside down here so I, I can get the bottom and bottom here. And, you know, instead of reaching up and over and stuff, something small, I guess, where you can maneuver it. It's a lot easier just to do that. So, uh, all right, I'm, I got my, uh, my primer here. That paint I got is uh, primer and paint, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to prime it anyway. Alright. we got a little spitting and sputtering, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Looks like it's a little dark over here in this uh, corner here. But uh, I think you guys can see it. Alright, I'm going to turn it over and uh, we'll hit it from the top. Alright. Got the top side all primed up. Looking good. Looking good. All right, well, that's tacking up a little bit. I'm going to clean the base up here. I'm getting uh, all, the, all the grease and oil off of it with uh, gasoline, and then I'll, uh, I'll clean it up with lacquer thinner. All right, we're cleaning it. We've got most of, uh, I guess we've got all of it. Now, gasoline's petroleum and it's oil based, so you want to get all that off of here. The best way to do it is lacquer thinner. Yeah, these aluminum bases, aluminum you should uh, really, really paint with uh, some kind of zinc chromate. But I've, uh, I've just used that regular primer, this here. I've used that, uh, where you at? Come over here. I've uh, used that on all my engines, and you know, we've had them five, six years, some of them, and I've never had problems. So. Needless to say, this is going to get painted with the same primed up. Alright, I think we're pretty good here. All 
Alright, I put about uh, two, maybe three coats on this, light coats. I didn't turn it upside down yet to, to get the bottom, so I'm going to do that. And then turn it back upright. And uh, then give it its finished coats. i got to tell you, I'm not seeing, uh, I'm really not seeing any hammering. But uh, I guess when I put on the final coat, I'll put on a little extra heavy so it uh, stays wet and maybe it'll do something. Here's the cap. The, the color of the engine is it's a, it's a little lighter than the cap, but uh, I can deal with it. But that's where we're at. Now let me turn this over and get the bottom. And then we'll turn it back and, and give it a final coat and let it dry. I yeah, the color. I'm not, I'm not uh, disappointed with the color. You know, I could deal with that. But I would like to see a little bit of hammering going on. See, by hammering, I don't know if you can see it under these lights and everything, but, it, you know, it gives it like a little sort of a rough finish there, a mottled finish, you know. And then that's what it should look like. But we'll see. We'll give it a chance. Okay. I turned it over and I'm getting ready to uh, give it its last coat. And I'm going to try and put it on a little thick. Get it so it ain't running and maybe uh, maybe we'll get some modeling going. Some hammer. Yeah, I've never used this brand before. This is made by Kills. So, uh, that's, a, that's a different smell to it. A funky, not a funky smell, but uh, it actually smells pretty good. But uh, I've been shaking this can for the last half hour, so. And there's the date on the bottom. So, it's, uh, it's less than a year old. Should still be good, but uh, I've been shaking it for quite a bit. And uh, we'll see. Alright, so uh, don't be telling me it needs to be shaken, it needs to be warm, and needs, you know. Okay. Yeah, I put it on, I give it a good nice thick coat to a point of where it's it's almost running, but it's not. And it is, it's starting to model a little bit, hammer, so uh, we're happy with that. I don't know how well you can see that. But I like I like the way it is, so before it starts to run too much, I'm gonna I don't think it will though. I'm gonna bring it over here and set it in the sun. Okay. All right, I can't see anything on the screen very well here, but uh, I'm liking it. It's looking pretty good. We did get the hammer tone finish on it, so I'll uh, put a few decals on there and uh, some lettering. I think it'll be fine. All right. I'm, I'm going to paint the base now. I don't want to sit here and uh, let you guys watch this too long because uh, it'll be like watching paint dry. I almost forgot, we got the, the valve cover here, and this, this little wing here, this was added to the 6S's because of the, you know, the extra length in the, the cylinder, and we really don't need that because that's, that, that, that was to help air cooling, and the 5S's, you know, it just had the little square thing, so I think what we're going to do is cut this off and just make it square and hit it on a sander and try to shape it up a little bit. Here's one over here on the 6S. You see they use that to, uh, you know, just for air deflection. Huh. Interesting. Alright, we'll cut that little fin off. Uh, now I'm going to take it over to the sander and uh, shape it up. Okay. I think we uh, got it pretty good there. So I'm going to throw this uh, in some gasoline and uh, degrease it, get, get all that gunk off of there. Alright. Clean this up, uh, wire wheeled it, and degreased it with lacquer thinner, so it's uh, it's all ready to paint. So uh, let me take it outside and paint it. Yeah, I got that primed up. I got that balanced on there, and uh, when I was spraying it, it was starting to wiggle and jiggle, so uh, it's not on there very well. I wasn't going to paint this uh, oil filler plug, but. Uh, if you're looking at it and thinking about it, I think I will. Couldn't get that gasket off without damaging it, so I didn't want to get paint on it. So I shoved these razor blades in around there. That's uh, it's about as thick as you could get. These razor razor blade thin. I think it'll work pretty good. Got to pay attention to the details. All right, 
A little shady over here, but uh, I think you'd be able to see it. I'm liking that, so maybe we'll move it over there into the sun and uh, let it start drying. Alright, we got it all done here. We got it baking in the sun, and uh, I'm liking it. I would uh, definitely use that paint again. So it looks like this, uh, this video might be a short one, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes, huh? Alright, enough of this.